Now throughout the NBA, many players have a ridiculous amount of tattoos, and some are obviously self-explanatory, but a lot actually have hidden meanings that you won't believe. Now with LeBron being a face of the league, he still has shown a ridiculous amount of tattoos throughout his career with significant meanings behind him that he acquired both during his teen years and professional days. Ever since he had to cover up his tattoos at his private high school in Akron, LeBron James has gotten a lot of attention for the tattoos on his body. Like the messages the superstar writes on his shoes for most games, each tattoo on James tells a story and conveys a secret meaning. From the ones that everyone knows, to the ones that remain hidden behind his jersey. James' body has become a canvas with several works of art that say so much about him. And it may not be surprising that a player who's won 23 for most of his career after his favorite player growing up has 23 tattoos to match that. The tattoos are everywhere, even though James isn't as inked up as his former teammate J.R. Smith and some other players in the NBA. He got his first tattoo while he was still in high school to commemorate his first appearance on the cover of Sports Illustrated. That tattoo, like the Sports Illustrated cover, announced James as the chosen one, a reference to the label that the magazine put on him that would shape him as he entered the NBA. The tattoo remains his most iconic, and while many may have regretted such a bold prediction on their skin, James has proven time and time again that the label was an apt one. The definitive story of James' life and career may actually be told best by his ink. The crowned lion on his bicep speaks of a royal beast who came in and took the league by storm, as does the winged lion on his chest. His witness tattoo on his leg harkens back to an advertising campaign that was linked to his 2006 playoff performance, which many saw as his official welcome into the league's brotherhood of superstardom. From the 330 that references his hometown in Akron to a quote from the movie Gladiator, James proudly displays his upbringing and his favorite things on his skin. And LeBron has one specific tattoo that means a lot. It reads, what we do in life echoes in eternity. And that symbolizes that whatever we do, the result of our actions affect the long term. And the loyalty tattoo on the left side of his abdomen speaks on something James has spoken highly of throughout his career. It explains why his circle remains tight with many friends that he's known since childhood. And of course, like most people who get some sort of tattoo, he got some symbolizing his family members like his mother Gloria and some of his sons, Barney Jr. as well as Bryce. Now it's no doubt that Kyrie Irving has become a huge name in today's league for many reasons. Obviously his play is spectacular and Kyrie's gained even more attention becoming headlines of recent off seasons when he demanded the trade from the Cleveland Cavaliers to the Celtics and eventually signed with the Nets this past year. But when it comes to the ink on Kyrie's body, just like his on-court game, he's always looking to make a statement and the tattoos represent that with their meaning. Now something you may have noticed were the ones on his right pec. On his chest, there's a tattoo of the letters H and H. This symbolizes being happy and being humble. On the left side of Kyrie's back, he's also got a tattoo that reads D DSL, DAL, just the three of us. The combination of letters happen to be initials that represent names of certain family members. D is for his father, Dedrick Irving, E is for his mother, Elizabeth Irving, A is for his daughter, Azir Irving, and his sister, Asia Irving, and the L is for his other sister, London Irving. Now, some that many have speculated about were a few with unusual symbols. There's an image on the back of Kyrie's neck, and it looks to be a symbol of a lock inside of a fortune cookie. Also on the upper left arm, there's a symbol with a hand and an eye in it. This tattoo is the hand of Fatima. It's basically a symbol of faith, goodness, and good health. Originating from the Hebrew word Hamish, meaning five, the hand is worn as a defense against negative energy, deflecting the gaze of an evil eye away from the wearer. It brings its owner happiness, luck, health, and good fortune. Now, Kyrie Irving also has tattoos and numeric numbers inked on the wrist of both hands. That's in the representation of a date, 813. And the back of Kyrie Irving's right hand features the tattoo of the all-seeing eye, which is considered to be the eye of God. And also some have speculated this a symbol of the Illuminati. And as we all know, Kyrie's announced some ridiculous conspiracies over the years, so it makes sense why these unusual symbols have been questioned by fans. Now, despite Anthony Davis becoming the center of attention because of his trade demand, the Los Angeles Lakers superstar center made sure that he'll never forget where he came from with a tattoo of his hometown Chicago on his right bicep. Davis talked about this tattoo saying, I got it because I love my city and where I'm from, knowing that I wouldn't be where I am without the city of Chicago. And Davis also has a huge piece of artwork as a tribute to his grandfather. As quoted on the Pelicans website not too long ago, Davis started the season with a new tattoo in tribute of his grandfather, Lamont Erberhart, who passed away in 2010. As Davis accumulates more and more attention, the article points out that a massive number of people will be exposed to the tattoo, and by extension, to Erberhardt. Davis went on to talk about this tattoo specifically saying, it's cool. Not only does it mean so much to me, it means a lot to my family. He was a big part of our family and everyone loved him so much. So for the world, I guess, to see and know about him, it means a lot to our family, so that people could see and appreciate how much he meant to us. You now with Damian Lillard gaining tons of spotlight in Portland, a lot of light has been shining on his large number of tattoos with various meanings. He recently sat down with GQ and broke down some of his favorites, when Damien admitted that he doesn't regret any of the tattoos he's gotten so far, and even though it looks like the majority of his arms are filled up, he looks forward to adding more in the near future. Now, it all started with a tattoo that he got on his chest. Lillard explained that this one was so painful that he won't get another one like it, but at the same time, it means a lot to him, and he's glad it's finished. Now, Damien Lillard got this ink, which consists of a heart and branches extending from it to the word Oakland, where he grew up, so this obviously means a lot to him. The words heart of the city also surround the piece. 
Now, Damien is also a strong believer in loyalty and staying true to your faith, and he proves it on a nightly basis in games, but stays true to this off the court as well. Now, the left arm of Damien also contains a tattoo of the scripture taken from Psalm 37, written from his shoulder to his bicep. And Damien actually went on inking an entire passage of the holy book on his arm, which reads, Do not fret because of evil doers. Be not envious toward wrongdoers, for they wither quickly like grass and fade like the green. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land, and he'll give you the desire of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will do it. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light, as your judgment in the noon dry. Now this saying urges believers to pay no mind to evil doers and encourages them to cultivate faithfulness and the desires of your heart will come to fruition. But Damien has more tattoos than you can count. Damien's arm is also filled up with portraits of people who raised him and played a big role in his life. That includes his grandmother, his grandfather, his mother, and his father, along with the tattoo of his uncle. And with J.R. Smith being known mainly for his ridiculous antics and personality, at the same time, he's also one of the most tattooed players in history. When J.R. was asked how many tattoos he thinks he's gotten up to this point, he admitted losing count years ago after he reached around 70. But J.R. is proud of his body art, and he doesn't regret a single tattoo he's ever gotten. With his body pretty much looking like a street mural, he's got tattoos of anything you can imagine, including family members, cities, slogans, and more, and admitted to becoming addicted to tattoos once he got his first one. But when J.R. was asked about the reasons he got certain ones, he said, People always say tattoos tell a story, so, I mean, I think they all got a hell of a story going on. My tattoos are all really pretty much off the fly. I mean, whenever I want to get something, I never really know what I'm going to get till I get to the tattoo shop. So when I get there, I just start picking stuff, and then I just get it. Now, like we all know, JR always seems to find an interesting way to make headlines, and one of his most recent tattoos stirred up some controversy with the NBA. A few summers ago, he got a tattoo on his leg representing the Supreme brand. Their logo on his leg wasn't okay with the league because that brand doesn't have a specific partnership with the NBA itself. Therefore, it can't be represented on the court. Similar to how JR was already warned about wearing a Supreme sleeve during a game. But right after Smith found out he was being forced to cover it up, he posted on Instagram that the league was threatening to find him for every game he didn't solve the issue. So I was informed today that I would be fined every game game if I don't cover up my supreme tattoo on my legs during games. These people in the league office are on something else. And he finished the statement with a middle finger emoji. In the caption, he added that he felt targeted by the league saying, I swear I'm the only person they do stuff like this to because it's me. It's a problem all of a sudden. It's whack. But NBA spokesman Mike Bass later told GQ in a written statement, NBA rules prohibit players from displaying commercial logos or corporate insignia on their body or in their hair. And with Kevin Durant as well being a superstar of the league, he's also a strong believer in portraying messages with the ink on his body. During the beginning of his career, he only wanted to have ink that he could cover up in games. But now he's expanded his portraits because they have too significant of meanings to not really show them off. Recently, KD got a portrait of Tupac on his leg, and he talked about his reasoning behind it being that Tupac was a huge influence on his life. He said, Tupac was known for being woke being politically incorrect, having a voice and standing up for himself, standing up for what he believes is right. He's expressed that in his music, and he expressed that in interviews, he expressed that throughout his movies, through his artistic work. It's way bigger than him being an artist or making a hot ass song or having a number one record. It's not at that age for you to be thinking about the stuff you were thinking about at 22, 23 years old, and he died at 25? Like young people just don't think like that. So for him to have that kind of mindset at that age, where he's projected to be around, today would have been like Gandhi, you know what I'm saying? Or like Nelson Mandela type of intelligence for our culture, our people, our voice, just being from the neighborhood. He meant so much to having me think a different way, from watching him, following his story, following every interview I can. And Durant also got a tattoo of Rick James on his leg. Why? Well, Durant explained, Rick James personified freedom. He personified just being you, loving and caring for what you like, what you believe in. On top of that, every black family played the jams on the weekends when you had to clean up. Anytime when it's the weekend, moms, grandma, they played the jam. So Rick James was in the rotation. Every time I hear a Rick James song, it brings me back to my childhood. He's a big piece of my life. In a weird ass crazy way, Rick James meant so much to me. Now Kevin's entire back is covered up by tattoos that mean a lot to him. You can quickly see an angel holding a basketball, Jesus, and a Bible verse. And the following passage reads, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Now last but not least, Stephen Curry, a player, and most importantly to him, a family man. And you wouldn't typically think that someone like him would have an insane amount of tattoos. But the ones that he does have, all have significant meanings behind them. With Steph and the Curry family being tied so closely before, during, or after his games, they're constantly spotted showing their support to Steph on and off the court. And with him being such a family man, some of his tattoos represent that. Curry's first tattoo is a Hebrew phrase from 1 Corinthians 13 8, and it means love never fails. But Steph's wife Aisha has the same matching tattoo. Now the reasoning behind this tattoo being in Hebrew, man 
man to do with his mother, who according to the Jerusalem Post, Curry's mother Sonia studied Hebrew for four years. But after the tattoo on his wrist, Curry opted to get two additional done on each of his biceps, both of which have pretty interesting meanings. Curry's two tattoos on his inner arms are fairly small, but obviously visible at times when he plays. One of them is a greater than symbol next to a less than symbol. It was reported that Curry says the tattoo reminds him to live in the moment, and it also revealed him and his wife having matching tattoos of this symbol as well. Now Curry's other tattoo reads woe, and that means working on excellence. And it appears this design came after the one he has on his other arm, but this one is to remind him that he should forever keep trying to improve rather than become accepting of what he has. He's got to keep going, especially in his profession. Whereas an NBA player, you constantly strive to prove the negative headlines wrong and push forward accomplishing more. But recently, while Steph's been out this season, he's gotten a few more tattoos representing his family in a unique way. His wife Aisha revealed that they got other matching tattoos on Instagram of geometric animals that pay tribute to their three children, Riley, Ryan, and Cannon. And the tattoos are of a wolf, butterfly, and unicorn. Aisha explained the meaning behind it saying, each is a deeper meaning and representation to us. Cannon will always be our young wolf, Ryan our butterfly, this one makes me cry with joy just thinking about it, and Riley our horse, free-spirited, which we turned into a unicorn because she's our magical firstborn. And